Nearer to Singapore, we have also read of the rise of religious tensions in Malaysia during the last few weeks. We are watching the situation very closely. It is understandable for Singaporeans to be concerned about the development in our neighbouring country, but our people have reacted with calm and composure, and we must continue to do so. One of the things that often worry me is that some Singaporeans are allowed into complacency, believing that such racial and religious conflicts can never happen in Singapore. We have cultivated more than 45 years of social peace and communal harmony. It would be naive for us to take racial and religious harmony for granted and assume that this state of affairs is natural and immutable. Good relations need to be nurtured, cultivated constantly and maintained conscientiously. All of us, regardless of our race, language or religion, background, we must do our part to guard against social and religious bigotry and to instead constantly cultivate and practice mutual tolerance and respect for the different communities that make up our Singapore society. While we prepare Singapore to reach the next level of economic development and growth, an area that the government will continue to place great emphasis on is the education of our children. Education opportunities allow our children to acquire knowledge and skills so as to maximize their potential. As we nurture and educate our young, our educational outcomes cannot be determined by narrow measures of academic performance alone, whether it is PSLE scores or O-level IT results or polytechnic diplomas or whatever. It was never meant to be. Our education system must prepare our students for life, not just for a short sprint, as a merit, but as a marathon. It is thus crucial for our schools to impart and seed our, in our children good values such as lifelong learning, resilience, integrity, compassion, and most importantly, a sense of civic responsibility to give back to the larger society. Singaporeans were able to overcome the recession last year because we were resilient, adaptive, and we stood united to help one another. We must continue to impart these values to our children. There is a Chinese saying, Qi zi se hui, yong zi se hui, which means that you should remember to give back to society what you have taken or benefited from it. Therefore, I urge all the recipients today to reflect on this and to do that in time.